Okay, so this is basically the current settings that I am running to reduce input lag in WoW. I use this on Kata and on Retail. This is just the ones that I've found and have found to have worked and have noticeably felt like my character is more responsive, not just when pressing spells, but also moving around. I've found that sometimes a patch has come, that come out or I've done a fresh install on a new PC and I haven't got certain settings on or I'm on someone else's PC and I haven't got certain certain things on or they have different settings on their PC and I'll try and move around in the game and it feels so sluggish and clunky and I think a lot of people are actually used to playing like that and don't actually realize how awkward it feels because they've, they've literally gotten used to it it's like playing on a on a you know a 60 fps screen or whatever and never having played on more you don't really know what you're missing until you upgrade to like 144 hertz or more which i'll come back to later there's going to be three i guess parts to it the the first is definitely going to be the most extensive there is more stuff so the first part is going to be stuff that you can do actually in wow to reduce input lag and and spell responsiveness and stuff like that then the second part is going to be stuff in windows and the third part is just going to be like hardware related stuff Keep in mind that there are way more things than I'm just putting. This is like the most basic stuff, but I can put a link in the description to a document that has way, way more detailed and extensive stuff if that's something that you're looking into and, and want to delve further into it. But I'm just keeping it real simple rather than going into very intricate details and stuff like that. So yeah, first of all, we're going to go into graphics and you're going to want to turn vertical sync off. Vertical sync and G sync, if your screen is, is capable of it, uh, or free sync, depending on if you're on uh, AMD or Nvidia, you want all that off. These will all increase input lag. Vertical sync, the biggest perpetrator of the three, but the other two definitely add some as well. Then on low latency mode, you want to have Nvidia reflex plus boost. There is also NVIDIA Reflex. Apparently, if you get uh, a lot of screen tearing and stutter and stuff like on uh, that with the Reflex and Boost, you can go down to Reflex and it improves it. But I think Reflex and Boost is the, the best in terms of reducing input lag. There are some other graphical settings that I have here that are mostly just to improve FPS and stuff like that. I don't care about how my game looks. I'm a competitive PvP is, so... I just want the most stable FPS with the least input lag. So graphics and graphical settings are not that big of a deal to me. So we've got anti-aliasing off, shadow quality low, liquid detail low, particle density high. Now certain things will help you see things like smoke bomb, ring of frost, frost trap, that's the, that sort of stuff a lot better. And I believe particle density helps with that. You've also got projected textures and spell density. They're the ones that you want to keep an eye on. Right now I have spell density on essential. Unsure how necessary this is to have more of, but right now it's on essential. Uh, depth effects and compute effects are off. SSAO off. And then texture resolution for... And then I've got just like a medium level of view distance and stuff like that. And then the big one this will make a huge difference is triple buffering off now there is a file in your WTF folder uh, called config if you go into this config file there is a bunch of different settings this is where you can essentially change the option settings directly from a notepad without having the game open and there is a setting in there called let me find it da, da, da. It's called GX Max Frame Latency. I'll put it in the description. And with triple buffering on, it's a 3. If you turn it off, it goes to a 2. Now, I've recently tried setting it to a 1, and I don't know if it's placebo or what, but I feel like it also reduces it slightly down from a 2. So you can do that if you, if you want to give it a try. 
If it doesn't work from you, for you, set that back to a two, which is just the default triple buffering off. But having triple buffering on is probably the worst out of everything in terms of how much input lag it creates. So definitely get that off. Everything else is relatively standard. I reckon DirectX is better than 11. I've tried them both. I feel like I get more FPS on 12 and better, uh, uh, better input lag. And then another thing you can do is you can set your resample quality to Fidelity FX Super. And then what you can do is there is a render scale up here. Now, if you try and drag this down manually, you'll get like 99, 98, whatever percent. But you can run a script. Console set render scale 0.999. So you basically don't lose hardly any resolution. And it just sharpens everything up. This works for me on 1080. I've had reports that on 1440, it doesn't actually help. And it actually makes it worse for some people. So if it doesn't work, set this back to 100. It's uh, entirely up to you. But I actually feel like my game looks better for it. And I think that is pretty much it. I set my... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off target FPS. I've got 60 background FPS for the stream. And I'm going to whack this all the way up to 200. I did this last time and it felt actually better. After turning G-Sync off. Uh... And that is pretty much it, I think, for the graphic settings. Now, there's also an add-on called Advanced Interface Options. This is an add-on, yeah? And this shows you a load of settings that a lot of them used to be in the option settings of WoW, and they've, like, pruned them or whatever, but they're still actually adjustable through this add-on and just scripts and things like that. The add-on just makes it a lot easier, but here you can see all the different CVARs. These are the things that you can change. There aren't, there aren't actually options for these, right? But you can do it using scripts. This add-on kind of does the script part automatically for you. You don't have to have, have this running all the time, by the way. You can just run this, run it once, change some stuff, and turn it off if you want. So the big thing that I wanted to talk about is in combat, you want to make sure you have cast action on keybind down. This is super important. Because now instead of doing the spell when you release the key, it's going to do it when you press it down. So obviously it's going to go, it's going to go off quicker always. And then lag tolerance, you want to uh, about your ping plus 100-ish. That's going to be one-tenth of a second, yeah? 100 ms. And so, yeah, I'm running on about 10 ms at the moment, so I've got mine on 100. Also, you can get this add-on, bug sack. You can get bug grabber and bug sack. And this is just going to check that you're not getting absolutely spammed with LUA errors. Obviously, you're going to get some sometimes, and a lot of the time updating your add-ons can help with this. But... If you're getting spammed, this number is going to go up real fast. And that's going to actually drop your FPS as well. So you want to make sure that nothing is is booky and, and getting you good. And yeah, when the new patch comes out and all the add-ons are balked, it, it also helps knowing, okay, I need to update this ASAP, that sort of thing. So definitely worth getting on those. I would say, however, make sure you come up here and you mute this because otherwise you're going to get, if you are getting lots of errors, you're going to get spammed by uh, the error sound, which is really, really annoying. You just open up a video control panel, right? And you go to manage 3D settings. And then you want all of these off. I'm not going to read each one out, but you want all of them off. And then cutter GPU is all. Driver default for system, uh, sysmem fallback policy. DSR factors off, smooth is off. And then low latency mode, you want this on ultra. This is the important one, right? That one you want on ultra. Max frame rate off. Multi-frame sampled AA off. Uh, prefer performance for this one. And prefer max performance for power management. That one's important as well. Uh, and then again, performance down here. You can see the rest of them as I go. And then vertical sync right now. We've got all well, triple bufferings off. Vertical sync, use the 3D app setting. So you, we have that off in WoW. So vertical sync will be off. And then we've got one pre-rendered frames, but this is for VR anyway. Uh, and Vulcan OpenGL on auto. So that is the NVIDIA settings that I'm running. And that can help as well. The other stuff that you want to do, wait, let me grab this, get this up. You want to come to, you want to search for power plan. 
in start and you'll get this screen come up and you come to advanced and then you've got different different power plans right if you don't see ultimate performance here you need to go into command and there's a script you, you run command as admin and there's a script i'll put in the description you just run that script you press that script you copy paste it in and you run that and then this should appear and this has loads of uh power management stuff that's actually still in high performance off so it'll be better uh, and reduce the in input lag even further other things turn off game bar turn off discord overlay in the discord settings turn off discord hardware acceleration they're in like advanced they all cause problems anything with an overlay you don't want it's all going to create extra input lag you don't want any of that shit the last section is for hardware and i you can go a lot deeper into this if you do your own research but the basic stuff is obviously g-sync disabled on your monitor make sure you have at least 144 hertz monitor the, the more hertz you have the less gap there's going to be between each frame which means the less input lag there's going to be so obviously the higher up you can go within reason you know the, the more it's the more responsive it's going to feel but the big one is definitely going from 60 to 144 for sure so if you're only on a, I, I mean, I don't know who would still be, but if anyone's still on a non, on a, like a 60 hertz screen in this day and age, get yourself a 144. You can get them pretty cheap and it's probably one of the biggest upgrades in terms of actual game feel that you can do. Uh, and yeah, and that's it for now. If you do have any other shouts on input lag reductions, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'm happy to hear them. I, I, like, as I said, this is definitely not an extensive list of, of everything you can do. I'm still figuring things out myself, but that's all of the things that I've found so far that have actually worked for me and, and felt better for me. So yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, just watching. Hopefully it helped. As I said, have a good one.